English. Alright. So it's the final game in the grand final of this best of five series in the Legacy of the Hunts tournament in between Stark and MBL. In the kind of south ish, in the blue, we have MBL. And in the north ish, we have Stark in the red. Both, of course, as the Hunts on yet again a desert like Arabia map. No green Arabia for Stark whatsoever. Ever. But he has proven that he can also play without walls, or at least can also play in a very aggressive Feudal Age manner. Though he has won the games where he pretty much walled and the open games he lost, but uh, that's a topic for another discussion. Let's look at the maps um, first. It's a very bad map for Stark. That is just awful. This map, at least he has a back gold, to say the least, but his front wood is so small and kind of awkward to really cut from because he d can't really put his lumber, he can only place his first lumber camp maybe in the front and then he has to quickly approach the side which is exposed to the front and plus his secondary wood in the back or in the north actually is so far from his TC, it's so exposed as well. So the only thing he has going for him is this back gold and back stone. His front is fairly open, he has berries in the front, he could wall this entire section here off but it wouldn't really be uh, effective I think because MBL could still go around here and here. So not really too much to wall for him, so I guess we are in for an aggressive game, and he's putting up his first lumber camp where I predicted. Not really an ideal lumber camp, but it's uh, sufficient for now. First board coming in for MBL, he's going with his standard scout opening. It seems like, nope, there is a fourth villager coming in for MBL on the wood line. So he's trying to get a fourth villager on there and maybe go for something like a drush or even a four wood. That would be quite nice. Um, looking at his map, he has all his stones and golds to the side on this little hill here. This little hill, hill here actually will be quite important if Stark can get his uh, commanding position on this hill. It would be very tough for MBL. Though he has a third goal in his front where a little hill is as well. So if Stark is not a forward guy and I don't really expect him to go forward, but if he so decided, he could approach this forward here and then take it from there across the map to this other hill. He could really nicely abuse that and take MBL pretty much all of all his resources. So three villagers only for Stark. Well, that is very surprising. Is he taking the more open map approach? It seems like he's going for scouts. And yep, he's definitely going for scouts, uh, which is very odd to see, which is a little bit of a change up to all the games we've seen before. And I think he wants to trick MBL a little bit. Um, what MBL? Oh, never mind. MBL didn't add a fourth village. What? What is this village of MBL doing? Did it go back or something? Oh, I think. Oh no, he. A villager from him got hurt from the wolf and then he dragged it back and put another villager up just to not let his villager be exposed at his woodline, very wise choice on his part. Back at Stark Space, he's now adding another villager, pretty standard at this point in time, 90 villagers. He has two deer already alert in. Has he scouted anything from MBL yet? Nope. He didn't scout anything, and that's what we've seen in the other games. Stark doesn't need scouting, he just needs deer, pretty much. What did MBL scout? MBL has scouted the wood line, if you can call it a line. Um, he has found his extra sheep, he has scouted the berries, and a back gold, and another gold. He hasn't found the other gold yet, but he needs to assume that these meet the gold is there or here in the back of his base, either on the right side of Stark Space or in the back of Stark Space. Um, both clicked up to Feudal Age. 
Um, I guess both players will go for kind of a scout-ish build. No barracks yet for MBL. He doesn't have the wood. He's going for heavy walls though. He's walling it on. Th he will close this wall between the cliffs and the edge of the map here, I think. And of course, closing it down here. Is he going for front walls as well? I guess so. He will be going for a wall across here between the gold, the barracks, and the oasis. He needs to be cautious though that he's walling this bit here, but I don't think there will be any danger in him not walling this. Oh, bad, in bad scout engagement from Stark. He will lose the scout for sure. He should retreat with it immediately. MBL going for MBL going for a really Stark style here. Still forgetting this little hole here, but now he's getting his attention onto it and immediately placing a palisade on it. And he's trapping the. Nope, never mind. There's a hole. There's always a hole. As Zero Empires likes to say. And there's a stable coming up for MBL. And MBL already nearly fully walled. And it's if he was Stark, he would immediately stonewall behind this. But I guess he's not going for the full package, he's only going for a full palisade wall. Dolbit X and Horse Color both done for MBL and Stable also coming up for Stark who is already producing his first scouts I assume. Where is Stark's second lumber camp? Kind of exposed to the right of his map. I uh, don't really like it but it's, it's, it's the only really option. Maybe here would be better but I'm not too sure. And this wall is nearly closed. Stark's scout will be trapped, but he wants to get that scouting information. And I've seen MBL do this quite often before. Go for a full wall, a very greedy click up. Like he's not producing any scouts at this time because he needs to get these upgrades and constant villager production. So he won't produce scouts immediately. He will produce just four or five scouts just to get some harassment in and just to defend um, defend well enough and then go for a greedy click up, maybe some expos, maybe some archers, or what I've seen before from him would be uh, straight into three to four ranges carry archers and just go all in on one TC. Which could be of course an option here and Stark microing like a master here, micro master against the spear, 3 to 1 scouts, but he needs to retreat now because 3 scouts against 2 scouts and a spear won't work out quite well in his favor, I feel like. Thank you, Bulletian, you're so nice. Um, now, Scouts hammering uh, on the walls of MBL. And nothing. Now, Spears coming in to defend. And seems like Stark recognizes the situation very well. And not producing any more scouts. And if he can click up earlier than MBL, this game could turn into his favor. And I think. It should be possible for him. Let's look at the farm count. Farmer MBL has 15 farmers already. Um, 11 farmers only for Stark, but his resources are looking much, much stronger at this point because he didn't invest so much into those uh, into those walls. So he can be much more greedy and much more faster up than MBL can, and that's where the only real good point about not walling comes in. You can, if you recognize the situation um, right and you are as greedy as your opponent while your opponent is walling, you will invest less in total and thus will be uh, quicker up and then you have to do damage of course. And there's a stone wall coming up. Oh my god, MBL. Stonewalling his map. He's going Stark style. <laughs> He's not giving any sort of um, is not giving any sort of chance here to Stark to come in at any given point. And yeah, he's going for full Stark style. 
And Stark is kind of going for the open style of MBL or of most Han players actually, which is quite funny to see. MBL is kind of beating Stark at his own game and looking at Stark's map, he's so exposed and he needs to get damage done on MBL but he won't get any chance. And if MBL do, does damage on Stark, it's pretty much over. And if he denies him of this wood line, because this wood line is way too exposed, he needs to get a TC there ASAP as soon as he's Castle Age, pretty much. But now, as I said before, Star clicked already up to Castle Age. MBL is nearly there, but he's a little bit earlier. And as soon as he's Castle Age, there should be the point where he could do the damage. But. There's the stone walls. There's nothing he could do against the stone walls. They're too powerful. And it seems like we have a little bit of a pause here. Unfashionable. Oh my god, the hand puns. <laughs> you guys are not quitting with the hand puns. Unfashionable. What a nice word. Why is MBL so many wills ahead? Well, I guess... Well, let me check. Yeah, you're right. Why is MBL so many wills ahead? It should only be like one village ahead. Mostly. I guess Stark... What Stark has been doing this whole series was idling his TC massively for whatever reason. And I guess that's what he did here as well. They're both now up to the castle age, both have wheelbarrow as far as I can see. And but Stark just is six villages behind without losing a single one? And I guess it's karma and Stark is right. It's karma. And Stark didn't lose a single villager, but he's still six, six villagers behind. His DC idle time throughout this series has cost him so much. And a villager going down. Um, villager scout going down for. Uh, for MBL and oh, this this archer is being a major threat. Sec to P before death. Well, I guess he's right. Um. MBL not bothering, bothering to make any archers, I guess. No, that's Stark. Yeah, no, he's going straight for cavalry archers. And so will be Stark, I guess. He's only made one archer to kind of threaten this wood line, but that's about it. Now gate coming up for MBL. And six village difference is so huge. On thumb ring, wow! Thumb ring for Stark already. That's a such a huge economical economical commitment, right there. It's two hundred. What was it again? I think three hundred wood and two hundred fifty food. That's so much. He's basically going all in with this. <laughs> against stone walls, I don't really understand it. Why is he going thumb ring and not bloodlines, for instance? And he could have made a, a TC here on this wood line, but a little bit more greedy. I'm just a little bit puzzled by this why you would go so heavy into military upgrades against stone walls. I guess he's an expert uh, when it comes to stone walls. And how to break it. And maybe he knows bad maybe he knows better. I guess he for sure knows better than me. But I'm still kinda of puzzled. Because I'm not sure that he will really break it. Because the reinforcements from MBL will come in so much quicker. And thumb ring also for MBL. But for MBL it kinda of makes sense. Because he wants to make the trades. He can just go out and um, harass Stark's space and Stark is just going all in it seems. He's now making the university 
He's doing Bloodlines, he's doing Leather Archer armor. He will be doing Ballistics as soon as possible. And he's nearly bro broken through the stable. He still has 500 HP to go, though. And he's still claiming this hill. But I think MBL can just sit back for now, maybe wait for more reinforcements. Just needs to take down this knight, cuts down on this stable. And now he even has superior numbers. With patrolling of this knight, he can um, get Stark to retreat back. And Stark, is he going for a forward siege workshop? This could be really nice. If he was going for a, a siege workshop on this hill, um, will he be. Uh, he's not breaking the stable. Now, Knights and CA are coming in for MBL, and he has already two TC, TCs up and running with eight more villagers in total. And no forward siege either for Stark. Um, yeah, I don't know how he's supposed to do the damage now because they're on even terms right now. Uh, plus two defense done for Stark, though MBL has those Knights helping him. And now that he is on a military disadvantage and an economical disadvantage, I'm not sure to how he should bring this back because MBL is now on his 30C already. And he will just kind of boom behind this. Uh, nice here waiting for the cab archers from Stark, but he is not even caring about. Oh, he is caring about them. Never mind. He is caring about them. And he should watch the CA, but a lot of more CA coming in, and he will cut down Stark's army. And ah, that does a little bit of an odd engagement here for the CA from MBL. That was an unfortunate patrolling. Um, he shouldn't have patrolled across there. Okay, that is an that is a bad positioning. That was a really bad positioning. I thought MBL had this, but now yet again Stark is claiming that hill. And he may be able to break in, but he needs some siege or something along those lines. And there's an outpost coming up, he's playing without walls, and there's a, a wood line coming, new wood line for Stark, no second TC yet, he's still so vulnerable to any ratings. I'm really puzzled to why MBL is not simply heading out, I mean... Stark will have so much time, or will need so much time to actually get some damage done onto this stable, or actually break through to this stable. He could just go with like 3 or 5 uh, CA and wreck everything, wreck the gold, uh, kill the villagers at the wood line, whatever. I'm really, really puzzled by this. He's n maybe he's not used to the wall style, I don't know. He's not playing really sneaky like you would expect him to do. and. Now Stark breaks through here. Whoa! MBL, are you are you going to throw this game? Really? Really? Are you are you throwing this game? MBL is really desperately trying to throw this game. Now he's 40 C's up. He is fully stonewalled 40 C's up just to protect him with only six farms. Um this is kinda odd. Like, MBL is doing everything to throw this game. I'm really, really surprised. Now, this Siege Workshop, siege workshop is a little bit odd as well, but... It's kind of necessary now for him to defend from this. He can't let... Stark... Kill too many villages. Stark is still so all in. He's on six ranges right now. He's moved on to the other gold. He has no second TC of whatsoever. He's so all in on this and he has so many resources banked now. Is he going for the siege workshop? Uh, the, the, the front siege workshop already? This could be so nice on his part. If he was actually going for the front siege... But he's not going for it and he's, he's letting... Oh my god, he's letting MBL rewall this. And did MBL actually only have a palisade wall there? It's only a palisade... Is, is it fully stonewalled? I'm not too sure. And a fifth a 5th TC coming up for MBL, but it's open now and he's just straight going through. My god, MBL, what are you doing? You're playing so s he's playing so sloppy. Only a 5 villager advantage for MBL right now. Stark is still going strong on cavalry archer production. 
uh, yeah, nearly no food at all for MBL. Um, I'm kind of speechless. Um, Clam.exe stopped working pretty much. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but let's see if uh, Star can do more damage. He could have uh, gone through here yet again, but he's focusing on the barracks. <laughs> he's trying to get the barracks down again and claiming this hill. Yeah, let's go. Um, okay, is MBL, will L MBL be able to take down Stark's army? I guess yes, because Stark is actually paying attention. All right, but he hasn't produced too many cavalry archers, so it's pretty much even on military terms, and still in favor on villager terms for MBL. So if Stark doesn't add a second TC soon, he will be in big trouble. Um, Alright, okay, so Stark is getting pushed back by MBLCA. He shouldn't take that fight. MBL, why are you taking that fight? You're trying to throw again. What the hell? MBL's trying to throw again like a master. Um, <clears throat> but now he's retreating to the hill and Stark will commit to this fight. Stark will commit to this fight. No questions asked, but reinforcement coming for Stark, so this fight will go into his favor. But he's still losing a lot of ZA in the process. And oh god, that was a bad troll. <laughs> he lost more here more than, than he should have. And now the count finally counted. Now that Stark's second TC is up, the counter attacks attack from MBL is hitting. And I wouldn't be surprised if Stark calls it in the next few minutes because Stark is nearly out of gold and he has nowhere to hide against those CA and he needs to do more damage and he's still open. If you play full wall style while delete all of your walls constantly, my god. MBL should take some lessons from Stark how to stonewall, how to stonewall boom into Pala or something. He should have stonewalled and boomed into Pala. That would have been nice. Okay. I would really like to see some forward siege from Stark. But he's not committing to it. He is rather doing a second TC. And I guess I can understand that because all of his wood villagers would have been GG if it wasn't for the second TC. So it was a wise decision, of course. And there's cavalry archers all over the map. And somehow, um, Stark has pure map control and military advantage yet again. But on the other hand, MBL is switching into counter units, he's switching into skirmishes and has a 20 villager lead and also trapped the CA of Stark in his own base. And they will be GG quite easily. And another harassment coming in. <laughs> From the other side, Stark is just not giving up on this one. And fairly so, it's the final game in this best of five series, so we expect him to do quite some damage. And quite and give us a quite a game. Who can call himself the Hun Master? MBL or Stark. Stark is yet coming in with reinforcements yet again, but we really? and no he's not entering this. And this army from Stark will die, this army will die as well against DC fire. This army is finally dead as well. 21 to 20, actually 20 to 20 army supply for both and 77 to 65 wills. Not that huge of a lead for MBL. A 30C finally now up for Stark. Finally up for Stark. MBL, is he producing villi- No, he's having so much idle time. Those CA just being a pest everywhere they go. And on this other side... Um, Stark is actually taking favorable fights. He's fighting against skirmishes, but they're... Huge Lednama, now he should GB against those skirms. And he will, hopefully. 
Yes, he's go. He's committing to the fight. Why is he committing to that fight? Don't fight against the skirmishers. Stark! Stark! Retreat! Oh, can he take that fight? It seems like downhill. Oh! Oh! Oh, that is surprising. I didn't think that the skirmishers will do so badly, but I guess the hill is too strong. Don't let him in! Oh my god, MBL nearly let Stark in here. Gosh. This game is insane. And MBL seems to be out of gold. Well, he has this gold. He still has his gold here and is now finally deleting all his walls. So he can get a better gold here and here. This mining camp, we should make a new one because it's kind of trapping the gold. And this gold is not being taken. And Stark is still on the push. And it's only 5 villager difference. It's only a 5 villager difference, 6 villager difference in favor of MPL. Finally, we are now back again at the fuel age difference. We're now back yet again at the fuel age difference. This is quite insane. Oh my god. And those here again getting shut down by the Mangonel. God, so many CA all over the map for Stark. Um, it seems like the army is now actually fairly equal. MBL finally um, catching up in that regard as well. Even making a tower on this stone. And oh, nice pickup here from Stark. He will get more and more villager kills. And. He is on 3 TC still. Um, MBL is also on the limit of his, on his, of his resources with 5 TCs. Resources of Stark actually look so much better. And seems like he's still going strong on this hill. My god, Stark is playing so impressive. 4th TC now coming up for him. The village numbers are now as close as they have been in Dark Age. And... Oh my god, is Stark actually going to do this? He's idling the villages from MPL so much. Wait, let me... Wait, how do I do this? Can we get an idle time? I mean, yeah, idle time. No, wait. Idle time. We have villager idle time. We have 5 hours, 22 minutes and 15 seconds idle time for MBL with 30 current idle villages and only 38 minutes and 4 idle villages for Stark. So Stark has taken, made quite an impact on MBL's economy. And now we are even in villager terms. Now we're even, and MBL is relying fully on skirmishes, and Stark is nearly up to the Imperial Age, and MBL has no resources whatsoever. Oh my god, Stark is doing it. I love it. Stark is... He's, he's, he's doing it. He's... Oh my god, how could... Oh, that's a huge Mangonel shot. Oh my god. And Stark, he will be doing it. He will be clicking up in any second. Oh my god, Stark, Stark clicked up. This is happening. Oh, I am so happy. The full stone walls just didn't. I was so skeptic about this all in style from Stark against the stone walls, but uh, he knew better. He knows how to beat this, and I'm so happy. Oh my god, he has so many resources in comparison to MBL who has none whatsoever. And I really expect MBL to just resign once Stark hits him. Oh my god, now Stark finally has the villager lead. He hasn't had a villager lead in all the games. Actually, nearly all the games he didn't have a villager lead, and now finally he has. And who would have thought that actually MBL would be the one stonewalling and Stark would be going full non stonewall and just. Winning! Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh.
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite excited against the no wall, uh, no stone wall style, to be honest. And MBL now going for the re wall, but these villages are not, won't do anything. These villages will get cut down. They will be shut down. And now Stark preparing for the full trash war because he's nearly out of gold. He has some gold here, but he's already bringing the upgrades for some hussar raiding. And if he lets the walls be open, the hussar raiding will do significant damage. And MBL won't be up anytime soon because he doesn't really have too much gold. And there's the Imperial Age, and seems like. MBL will fight on. I guess he could actually call GG here, but he will fight on like Stark did in game 3 it was, I think. And maybe even win this game, but he needs to be up soon. How many TCs does MBL have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7! Emil has 70 Cs and he really overinvested in, into them, I think, because he idled them all the time. And Stark has a huge villager lead and all the map control. And he will be playing it safe. He made the Hossar upgrade, he's now making the Pathian tactics. And he will raid MBL just constantly and not letting him get any eco up. And another, fo another castle going up in front of MBL space. More harassment coming in from those CA man Stark is playing beautifully. And MBL throwing as hard as he possibly can. Yeah and Stark still got in. And MBL still has holes. I mean, he can't even fight this army. His army is pretty much army numbers is even, but the upgrades is lacking. The upgrades, of course, Carthage against Imperial, and he won't go up to Imperial anywhere soon if he wants to survive. My God, look at all these stable siege workshops coming in as well. He will be preparing a lot of ramps to finally push into MBL, he could either push from this side and deny his gold, he could also, if he's really ballsy, push into these castles, or on this side, he can choose from wherever he wants, and ooh, nice castle here, not, not letting MBL fully stonewall, but it will get denied, possibly, um, pretty sure it will get denied, it is denied. Denied on like 85% or 90% or something. Uh, very unfortunate for Stark, that was a very nice castle position, I wanted that to go up. Is there still a hole? There was still a hole. Um, but he could go through the town center. I think. Like why not? And he can still go around here. So MBL is not fully walled either way and he's still getting harassment in here. And Stark is just going around here, and MBL is chasing yet again the Hussars of Stark. Panic walls coming up now for MBL, but his villages are not working accordingly. There's still a hole, not anymore. Closed and denied the entering of Stark, but he's here on the other side of MBL's base, and this should be game. This was actually a game a few minutes ago, but I should call it now, really. Oh god, he could even fight with full hussars against those CA. He's bringing another villager, but that was a little bit too ambitious in my opinion. Full upgrades actually, not need for plus 4 attack is, is missing on those hussars, but other than that, it's fairly even and he will get this castle up eventually, I guess. Yeah, he's bringing more villagers. And he's pushing here, right at this side, where I said he should. And he's doing that. I'm a little smart ass, I know. And not even right like 30% of the time, but whatever. 
And this army might finally get taken down from the skirmishers, yes, but he's pushing with siege rams and hussars onto the CC, onto the last, uh, the second remaining gold from Stark. And on this side, he's pushing as well with siege rams and hussars. He's, and in the center as well, he's pushing now from all sides. 96 villages for MBL. This is game. My god. And he's still trying to stonewall, but there's nothing helping him at this point. Uh, is he going to is he going to pull the same thing as he did against Dogao? Just uh, letting him get defeated or some shit? Yeah, he's making tons of light cap now, but they, they don't stand a chance against the Hussars. And even though they are massing them, it's not really worth any fight. And there's more Hussars in his base, 80 villages for MBL. Um, and he's calling GG well played. Jeez. I, I, I don't really know what to say at this point. It was a, the hardest throw I've seen in a, in a, in a long time. Uh, MBL wasn't harassing even though he was safe at home. He was just camping at home. Even though Stark was completely open, um, he let Stark in repeatedly, even though he should have been fully walled. I don't know. Well, anyway, congratulations to Stark, the winner of the Legacy of the Hunts. And thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. My voice is nearly gone. And I hope you tune in next time. See you soon.